Hey guys and welcome to this short video. This video is about the TBS Unified Pro and the smart audio not working. So I changed my VTX, I wanted to use the Unified Pro Nano. I wired up everything correctly but the smart audio was not working. I presume in your case that you set up already the correct UART on your flight controller, um, assigned it to be smart audio and that you are using the correct VTX table for your country in order to control your VTX with your flight controller. I'm using the Bartwell F4 flight controller. I wired up everything, I set up everything like it's normal but smart audio did not work. And so I checked the manual and the manual says that the TBS Unified Pro Nano is using Smart Audio 2.0 Lite. And the Lite version is not the normal version of the Smart Audio 2.0, it's a Lite version. And it says uh, the Lite version requires a hard or software pull down. But it's not explained what this means for a normal user, so you have to go to some uh, GitHub pages and research for it. And I found out that the solution for this problem is a simple 10k resistor. You have to get a 10k resistor and solder it between the ground pad and the TX pad that is then going to your um, VTX to control it. So a normal 10k resistor is doing this pull down that the smart audio needs in order to work. So that's the solution. There's also another thing about the Unified Pro Nano and that's the race and free mode. So when it comes from the factory it's in uh, race mode. And race mode means that it's always in pit mode when you start it up. So you have to disable the pit mode and then you can go fly. But that's kind of annoying if you're not in a race and if you just want to fly normally by yourself. So you have to change this, you can change this via the OSD you go to the config of your um, VTX and there you can change the mode from the free mode to the race mode or vice versa. That means when you are in race mode, like it's shipped from the factory and you want to change it to free mode, you, would, you go to this menu, change it to free mode, save and reboot and then you power cycle the quad and then it should stay in the normal free mode. That's the solution for this. I hope this video helped you and you can find the solution for your problem. So have a nice day and uh, have a safe flight. Bye bye.